Hey everyone, welcome to Dev Runner. My name is Paul. I'm an endurance runner and an RRCA certified running coach. And I'm here today to present my comprehensive free weight workout. It's designed to provide strength to all of your major muscle groups, not just your legs, so that you can become a healthier, faster, and stronger runner. Now, before we get into the details of each particular exercise, let's just address some basic questions. Why strength train? Well, runners, in fact, everyone should be strength training regardless of their age. It has the potential to add years to your life and increase the quality of those years. Resistance training builds bone density. It thickens and strengthens connective tissue like ligaments and tendons, and it builds muscle power. A stronger skeletal muscular system means fewer injuries, less frustration, more consistent training, and that all adds up to greater gains in the long term in both your speed and your efficiency. So what's the best way to gain strength as a runner? Well, a lot of people prefer to use body weight exercises or even resistance bands. This is a great way to get started, and it's very convenient when you're on the road and you don't have access to your own weights or access to your gym. But there's nothing as efficient or effective as using free weights when it comes to building strength and resilience. And as you'll see, the great news is that you don't need a lot of equipment or a ton of weight to get started. Just a simple bench, a pair of dumbbells, and a few plates is all you need for a full body comprehensive workout. A simple at-home setup makes it much easier to stay consistent with your training, no matter the weather or your ability or willingness to get to a gym. So when and how often should you be working out? Well, I'd say three times a week is ideal, and that can be cut down to twice a week once you're in a dedicated race training cycle so that you don't wear yourself out too much. As little as 30 minutes per session, two to three times a week will deliver huge performance gains for your running. Now, there are a couple of important points I wanna make here. As runners, we should always be prioritizing our runs first. Always schedule your weight workouts for later in the day once your run is complete. Now, furthermore, you also wanna make sure that you are scheduling your weight workouts on days where your harder runs are occurring. So you get that harder run done and then head for the gym. If you need a little rest in between, that's fine. But this way you're keeping your hard days hard and you're keeping your recovery days easy. Maximize work, maximize recovery. Now, how much weight should you use for each exercise? Well, I recommend spending the first couple of weeks in the gym using very light weights. This allows you to concentrate on proper form for each exercise and make sure that your muscles have a chance to acclimate to the new activity. Now, never lift so much weight that you can't complete the recommended number of reps or sets. And you also have to make sure that you are not so fatigued that you can't come back a couple of days later for the next workout. And most importantly, please keep in mind that you should never be lifting so much weight or doing so many reps or so many sets that you're actually degrading your run performances because of fatigue. Now, once you discover a comfortable amount of weight for each exercise, I recommend that you increase the number of reps per each set, and then you can add more sets. Now, every three weeks, you wanna consider adding more weight and then dropping down the reps and the sets so that you are constantly gaining strength and the ability to keep pushing. All right, I think that's enough to get us started, so let's have a look at the exercises. The clean and press increases the strength and thickness of the deltoid or shoulder muscles, as well as working the back, triceps, and to some degree, the entire upper body. Start with two sets of eight to 10 repetitions. Dumbbell laterals will shape and broaden the shoulders and strengthen the back. Start with two sets of 8 to 10 repetitions.
dumbbell bench press will strengthen the pectoral muscles and also work the deltoids and triceps. Start with two sets of 8 to 10 repetitions. Dumbbell flies are designed to isolate and train the pectoral muscles. Start again with two sets of 8 to 10 repetitions. Squats develop and condition the legs, the glutes, the lower back and abdominals. This is an essential exercise for runners. Start with two sets of 8 to 10 repetitions. Deadlifts develop all of the muscles of the back as well as the shoulders, torso, arms, and legs. This is an essential exercise for all runners. Start with two sets of 8 to 10 reps. Bent over rows with dumbbells. These are designed to develop and strengthen the muscles of the upper and lower back. I do one superset of 8 to 10 repetitions with my torso bent at four different angles to better work my core. Dumbbell curls are designed to develop your biceps. I do two sets of 8 to 10 repetitions.
Lying Triceps Press is designed to develop the triceps for the back of the upper arm. I did two sets of 8 to 10 repetitions. Wrist curls will develop your forearms and strengthen your grip. I recommend starting with two sets of 8 to 10 reps. Weighted lunges develop the quadriceps, or the front of the thigh. This is another essential exercise for runners. Start with two sets of 8 to 10 repetitions. Standing calf races are designed to develop the calf muscles. Beginners can do this exercise standing flat on the ground. As you become more advanced, you may want to stand on the edge of a solid, stable object so that your heels can drop lower than your toes. Start with two sets of 15 to 20 repetitions. All right, so there it is, my comprehensive free weight workout for runners. I hope you found this educational. I hope it helps you become a healthier, faster, and stronger runner yourself. If you enjoyed my content, please give it a big like. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you get more content like this every time I post something new. With that said, folks, please get healthy, stay strong, and keep pushing. Peace out. Catch you next time. Bye-bye. Hey everyone, welcome to Dev Runner. My name is Paul. I'm an in distance, uh, I'm an in distance runner. <laughs> There's a new term for you.